Let's get more perspective on these latest developments on Ukraine. James George Jatris is a veteran government relations and public advocacy specialist and the deputy director of the American Institute in Ukraine. Thanks so much for joining us. Always great to see you. Let's start there. Um, Chinese foreign ministry says that this can actually make matters worse. What's your take on that? Do you agree? I agree wholeheartedly. There's no strategic or logical reason sanctions of this sort, or frankly, any kind of sanctions, will help resolve the situation in Ukraine. Uh, for the Russians, this is a fundamental national security issue, and no matter how much pain we try to inflict, certainly more pain than the Europeans will go along with, it's not going to change the course of Russian policy. You know, it was great. You were here a month ago, and you were talking about, uh, you know, you were saying we're hearing a lot of noise. I suspect you still think there's mostly noise out there. Uh, you were talking about the tit-for-tat nature of this, the kind of the breakdown of law and order. A lot of the things that we're still seeing, in fact, if anything, they've gotten much worse. What's your take now? I mean, are we making any right moves? Uh, and when I say we, the international community. No, I don't think so. I think we're still having a dialogue of the deaf where the Russians are saying one thing, the Americans and the Europeans are saying another thing, and the people inside Ukraine are really not talking to each other either. And I think until some moves are made to try to reach a national accord, some kind of a power sharing, decentralization, an agreement on a neutral status with a country, this is going to continue to get worse and it's going to get a lot more dangerous. And you said that uh, no one, and by that you meant all of these countries, these actors, uh, no one was really behaving like an adult. Uh, <laughs> and I thought that was interesting at the time. As I said, that was a month ago. There were these talks in Geneva, but you don't see that as really making any headway. No, I don't think so. If you look at that uh, agreement, if you can call it an agreement, it was very vague, very short, very general. And it seemed to me that all the sides were just kind of playing for time and trying to set up some talking points. They could then immediately accuse the other side of violating, which is what they did. And, and that's exactly what we're seeing now. As you look at the terrain and all these different stories that are kind of popping up, um, and, and as I said, you were here a month ago, what disturbs you the most? Are there any flickers out there in the distance where you say, well, maybe there's an opening here? Or, or is it mostly negative what you're seeing? You know, I guess the thing that really strikes me most is the missed opportunity. As I say, the path to reconciliation Ukraine, uh, agreeing to a status for Ukraine that will serve the interests of both sides, that's something that should be quite doable. Uh, I think the Russians are proposing that. Um, it doesn't seem that there's anybody on the Western side that's really willing to take it. I think maybe the Europeans, at least some of the Europeans, the Germans, would go along with that. But they're getting a lot of pressure from Washington. And, of course, the EU is divided. Some of the countries agree more with the uh, American position, if you will. Some agree more with the Germans and other countries that don't want to see their relationship with Russia be destroyed. What's needed for a breakthrough, do you think? Uh, unfortunately, I think what's needed is what's not going to happen, and that's for there to be a reevaluation of American policy along the lines that some people like Henry Kissinger and others have proposed uh, to try to calm the situation down and focus on putting Ukraine back together. That's just not being done. Thanks so much for coming in. It was a pleasure last month. Great insights again tonight. Thanks so much. Thank you.